What we have here today is a uh, Toro lawnmower that's powered by a Tecumseh engine. You can uh, go ahead and prime it. Will not start. However, if you take and uh, put some starting fluid in there, it will fire right up. So what we have here is uh, when we go ahead and prime it, not this little red tube here, but that other one that is uh, down in there, there should be a little bit of gas squirting out of there. So what we're going to do is uh, clamp off the fuel line here and uh, go ahead and uh, clamp this off take this cover off here and uh, remove the carburetor and clean that out. Okay, I took a uh, locking pliers, uh, locked off the, uh, crimped off the uh, fuel line. I'm going to put a pair of uh, eye safety glasses on. I'm going to take some brake clean and clean all the dirt off around the carburetor and after that I'm going to unbolt it from the uh, intake manifold. To take the flywheel housing off we have to take uh, these two 5 sixteenths off. On the oil dipstick we have another 5 sixteenths. And to remove the fuel tank, just simply pull back a little bit, and pull up. With the fuel tank removed, there are two 3 8 uh, bolts, and then the top will come off. Next, what you're going to need is a 3 8 wrench and a 7 16 go ahead and uh, put it on the carburetor here. We need the uh, open end for the 7 16 and we'll go ahead and uh, loosen these up on both sides and then we'll remove the carburetor and the fuel line. To get to the inner one you'll have to uh, push the throttle linkage back and uh, go ahead and loosen that up. Now that uh, both bolts are out, we'll go ahead and wiggle the carburetor a little bit. Take and uh, disconnect the Z fitting here for the uh, the uh, throttle here and uh, disconnect the fuel line. Next what you need to do is uh, get some uh, carbon choke cleaner. We'll go ahead and we'll uh, remove the backing plate here where the air uh, cleaner fits on. And those screws are one quarter inch. Then we're going to take this spray Spray it in all these holes here. I'm going to remove this uh, 
main jet on the bottom. It happens to be a half inch or a 13 millimeter will work. And we're going to uh, clean all in there as well. Okay, this is the bowl of the carburetor, and there happens to be quite a bit of uh, dirt and whatnot on there. I'm simply going to just take some steel wool here and uh, clean that up a little bit so the gasket seals better. If this gasket here happens to be uh, too bad a shape, then uh, you'll need to replace that seems to be pretty much intact if there's a lot of cracks in it yeah it's best to replace that otherwise uh won't be running very well all that i got that cleaned out i'll just go ahead and squirt it out with a little brake uh little brake cleaner or uh carburetor cleaner and then we'll go ahead and reassemble the carburetor okay now for the reassembly we'll go ahead and put this uh bowl gasket on there. The uh, float happened to fall out as, long, as well as the uh, seat. So uh, we'll go ahead and slide this in here. Take and put the bowl on there. The main jet. Make sure that this gasket is on there. Take and tighten that up just a little over snug. Thing I might have forgot to mention is this little recessed part here goes towards the back of the float where that hinge is. Okay, we're ready to bolt it back on. What we'll do is uh, take this bolt here. That one lined up there, and this one as well. Want to make sure that we have the gasket on here, and if this is damaged, uh, we're going to want to replace that. There are only a couple of dollars. Go ahead, slide our carburetor on. Before we do that, we want to connect our fuel line.
And we'll go ahead and bolt it on. So for the final one we have to have this uh, uh, spring uh, bracket on the bolt and uh, so I jammed a screwdriver in the back so I could uh, uh, bind that bolt up so I could go ahead and tighten it and now that it's all tight you want to make sure that you have before you uh, put the carburetor on this uh, throttle linkage to have that on first that attaches to the governor here and uh, we want to make sure that that's on because it's very difficult to uh, get it on without it okay I just simply uh, took and twisted this a little bit fit that in the uh, the uh, governor to uh, control the uh, throttle there and uh, next we'll go ahead and connect our breather hose and uh, we're ready to uh, put the uh, flywheel housing back on and uh, then go ahead and uh, reinstall the fuel tank and uh, see if we got it We install our fuel tank. We'll just go ahead and uh, slip it on the uh, slides there and push down. That's all there is to it. Last thing we'll do is uh, take and remove this primer uh, button assembly here and uh, go ahead and inspect that. We'll shoot a little brake clean down or a uh, little carburetor cleaner down there as well. Uh, you simply just need a uh, small flat blade screwdriver. If you look very closely, you'll find some little slots in there. And you just simply pry this little ring out. That holds it in. And there is a plunger here. We'll go ahead and and uh, shoot some brake or uh, some carb cleaner down in this hole as well, and here. Reassembly. We'll just put that uh, little plunger in there. You'll notice there is a little tab on the uh, the priming bulb there that will correspond with that there so we'll just go ahead and line that up it's pretty important to have this, uh, this little spring attached to the uh, little plunger here And we'll line up that uh, little tab there, push that in, and 
Okay, I'm going to remove this emulsion tube here and uh, hopefully the camera's picking that up. Primer's working now. running we'll go ahead and uh, reattach the uh, air cleaner uh, assembly and put the cover on <laughs> 